How to Activate Your Third Eye Written by Kelvin W. Nathan Published by Audiobooks Office The Introduction You've likely heard of the third eye, that mystical, inner eye, symbolizing enlightenment, in ancient Indian spiritual traditions. It's believed to grant insight beyond ordinary perception. You're curious, and rightly so. Activating your third eye can offer a deeper connection to the world around you. But don't worry, this isn't about venturing into the unknown without a safety net. It's about safe exploration, about unlocking potential within yourself in a secure way. As we delve into the process of awakening your third eye, we'll ensure your comfort and progress are paramount. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We noticed that 85% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. After all, this journey should be an enriching and positive experience for you. Chapter 1. Understanding the Third Eye. Often, you will hear the term third eye but may not fully understand what it's or its significance in spiritual practices. This concept, rooted in ancient wisdom, can seem mysterious or even intimidating. But don't fret, it's a deeply holistic and safe journey that you're embarking upon. Your third eye, also known as the Angya or Brow Chakra, is considered the sixth primary chakra in your body according to yogic traditions. It's believed to be located in the middle of your forehead, slightly above the space between your eyebrows. It is a spiritual eye rather than a physical one, and it is said to be the entrance to higher consciousness and inner worlds. Enlightenment, insight, and intuition are linked to the third eye. When it's open and activated, you're thought to have a greater ability to see beyond the physical world, to perceive the truth without the filter of your biases, fears, or illusions. It's not about seeing ghosts or other supernatural entities, but about gaining a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. Now, it's essential to remember that everyone's spiritual journey is unique. Opening your third eye isn't a competitive sport or a fast track to enlightenment. It is an introspective, personal process that calls for self-awareness, patience, and an openness to learning new things. Now that you understand the fundamentals of the third eye, you are prepared to explore more of its esoteric aspects. So, let's transition into the subsequent section where we'll explore the power behind the third eye. Chapter 2 the power behind the third eye. You're probably wondering about the power your third eye holds once activated, and it's truly remarkable. Imagine having a new lens through which you experience life. This heightened awareness can offer you incredible insights about yourself and the world around you. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. Suddenly, things that were hidden become clear and vibrant. Now, Let's consider how this power can work for you. Through your third eye, you may find a renewed sense of intuition and foresight. It's as if you've tapped into a reservoir of wisdom that you've always had, but were unable to access. This doesn't mean you'll be predicting the future, rather, you'll have a deeper understanding of the present and a clearer vision of your path forward. Moreover, your third eye can empower you with a profound sense of peace and inner balance. This calm acceptance of your reality, as it is, can alleviate stress and anxiety. It is similar to having your own private haven, somewhere secure to go when life gets too much for you. Remember, this isn't about gaining superpowers or becoming someone else. It's about discovering the power that's been within you all along. The journey of awakening your third eye is a journey of self-discovery and personal growth. With this understanding of the power behind the third eye, you're likely curious about the signs that indicate its activation. So, let's move on to explore the signals of an awakened third eye. Chapter 3. Signs of an Activated Third Eye. Once your third eye is activated, there are several clear signs you'll likely notice. You might experience heightened intuition, 
as if you're suddenly more in tune with the world around you. It's almost as though you've developed a sixth sense, able to anticipate events before they occur. This is because the third eye is believed to be closely linked with your intuition. Another common sign is an increased sensitivity to light and colors. You might find yourself more aware of the vibrancy and hues of your surroundings. You're not physically seeing more colors, but you're perceiving them with a newfound appreciation. You may also notice a shift in your perspective. Things that once seemed important may now seem trivial, and vice versa. This is a sign that your third eye is helping you see beyond the materialistic aspects of life, and into the spiritual realm. It's important to remember, though, that these signs aren't always dramatic or immediate. Don't worry if you're not experiencing all of them right away. It's a process that takes time and patience. Just keep an open mind and trust in your journey. Lastly, you might experience vivid dreams or visions. This is a sign that your third eye is opening up to new levels of consciousness. These dreams or visions are often symbolic, so try to interpret them in a way that resonates with you. We will talk more about the significance of opening the third eye as we go deeper into the subject. Chapter 4. Importance of Opening the Third Eye. Diving into the importance of opening your third eye, let's explore why this spiritual journey can transform your perception of reality. Unlocking this chakra isn't just a spiritual formality, it's a profound act of self-discovery and inner awakening. It's about embracing a holistic perspective, one that moves beyond the physical confines of your two eyes. You might be wondering, why is it so crucial? Well, your third eye serves as a bridge between your physical and spiritual self, fostering a deep connection with the universe. This isn't about abandoning logic or reason, but rather enhancing them with an innate intuition that can guide you safely through life's challenges. To truly understand the world around you, it's essential to look within. Opening your third eye allows you to do just that. It's a doorway into a realm of heightened senses and perception, granting you access to the underlying truths that often go unnoticed in everyday life. It's about experiencing reality as it is, not as it's portrayed. Activating your third eye isn't an escape from reality but an embrace of it. It's about realizing that you're a part of a vast, interconnected universe and finding your place within it. And don't worry, it's a safe journey. You're not alone in this exploration of self and universe, you're guided by the wisdom of countless others who've walked this path before. Now that you've grasped the importance of opening your third eye, let's move on to the benefits of a fully activated third eye. Chapter 5 Benefits of a Fully Activated Third Eye You can experience a multitude of advantages that have the potential to significantly alter your life when your third eye is completely opened. Imagine experiencing heightened intuition, a more profound understanding of the world around you, and a deeper connection with your inner self. These, among others, are possible when your third eye is fully activated. Firstly, you'll notice an increase in your intuition. You'll be able to trust your gut feelings more, as they become clearer and more precise. This can help you make better decisions, providing a sense of safety and assurance, especially in uncertain situations. You'll start to feel more in tune with the world around you, gaining insight into what's happening beyond what your physical eyes can see. Secondly, you will develop a more profound understanding of the world around you. Your perspective will broaden, helping you see the interconnectedness of all things. You'll begin to see life from a more holistic view, understanding that everything is part of a larger whole. Lastly, you can strengthen your relationship with your inner self by keeping your third eye wide open. You'll start recognizing the divine within you, leading to a more satisfying and peaceful life you'll begin to feel more balanced and harmonious, experiencing a sense of calm and tranquility that you might have never felt before. Chapter 6. Preparation for Third Eye Activation. Before you start activating your third eye, it's essential to prepare your mind and body properly for this spiritual journey. 
This isn't a process to rush into, it requires gentle patience and nurturing self-care. Think of it as preparing for a marathon, not a sprint. To begin your preparation, you must cultivate a strong foundation of physical health. You can't build a house on shaky ground, right? Same goes for your third eye activation. A balanced diet, frequent exercise, and lots of sleep are a good place to start. These might seem mundane, but they're crucial. Your body is a vessel for your spiritual energy, and it's important to keep it in tip-top shape. Next, let's focus on your mental well-being. Engage in practices that foster tranquility and clarity. This could be meditation, yoga, or even walks in nature. The goal here is to create a peaceful mental space, free of clutter and distractions. Remember, your third eye isn't just an abstract concept, it's deeply connected to your overall mental state. Finally, it's important to approach this journey with an open heart. Third eye activation is about growth and transformation. It's okay to feel uncertain or even apprehensive. But always remember, you're taking this journey for yourself, not for anyone else. Trust in the process, have faith in your abilities, and most importantly, be kind to yourself. Just like any other journey, there might be bumps along the way. But with adequate preparation, you're setting yourself up for a rewarding and enlightening experience. Embrace the journey, and your third eye will guide you safely to your destination. Chapter 7. Cleansing and Balancing Techniques. Now that you're prepared, let's explore some cleansing and balancing techniques to further ready your mind and body for third eye activation. This process is gentle yet profound, and it's crucial to approach it with respect and a sense of safety. One effective method is meditation. It's an all-natural way to cleanse your mind and balance your energies. Close your eyes, sit comfortably, focus on your breath, and let go of all outside distractions. Visualize a cleansing light enveloping your body, removing all negativity. This mental scrubbing helps clear blockages that might hinder your third eye activation. Another technique involves diet. You're what you eat, after all. Consuming clean, fresh, and unprocessed foods can significantly improve your overall energy levels and help balance your internal systems. This isn't about losing weight or counting calories, it's about fueling your body with what it needs to function at its best. Physical activity, too, can play a vital role. Whether it's yoga, walking, or any form of exercise you enjoy, staying active helps cleanse your body and balance your energies. It's about more than just staying fit, it's about keeping your energy flowing freely. Finally, consider the role of sleep. It's during this restful state that your body gets to work repairing and rejuvenating itself. Getting a decent night's sleep is crucial for staying in balance and getting ready for the adventure ahead. Chapter 8. Meditation for Third Eye Activation. Start your journey towards third eye activation by incorporating specific meditation techniques into your daily routine. Meditation, a practice of tranquility and focus, acts as the key to unlocking your third eye. It's a safe, holistic approach that allows you to explore the depths of your consciousness from the comfort of your own home. To begin, Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. You are making a hallowed area for your thoughts to relax and establish a connection with your inner self. Sit comfortably, close your eyes and take deep, purposeful breaths. Feel the air entering your body, filling you with calm and peace, then slowly leaving, carrying away your stresses. Next, visualize a point between your eyebrows, your third eye. Imagine a warm, indigo light radiating from this point. Let this light grow stronger with each breath, feeling your third eye opening and expanding. This visualization is powerful, but it's also gentle and safe, providing a comforting pathway to your inner wisdom. Remember, this journey won't be an overnight success. It requires patience, consistency, and an open heart. 
If you feel resistance or discomfort, that's okay. It's part of the process, signifying your growth and evolution. Incorporating meditation into your routine won't only lead to third eye activation but also a greater sense of inner peace and balance. It's a holistic approach, nurturing not just your spiritual self, but your mental and emotional well-being too. So, embrace this journey and remember, you're not alone in exploring the mysteries of your consciousness. Chapter 9 Visualizations and Affirmations So, how can you further enhance your third eye activation journey with visualizations and affirmations? Well, it's simpler than you might think and it can be a beautiful process that complements your meditation practice. Visualizations are about creating mental images or scenarios that help you connect with your third eye. You can start by visualizing a bright indigo light, the color traditionally associated with the third eye, in the middle of your forehead. Imagine this light growing, pulsating, and radiating energy. This isn't just a random exercise, it's a way to focus your mind on the area where your third eye is located, enhancing your connection with it. Now, let's talk about affirmations. You could say these affirmations out or in your head as a way to encourage yourself. They're powerful tools in shaping your mindset and reinforcing your belief in your third eye's capabilities. You might use affirmations like I am connected to my intuition, or my third eye is open and ready to guide me. Remember, the key to making visualizations and affirmations work is consistency. These aren't one-time activities but ongoing practices. Don't worry if you don't see immediate results. It's normal. The journey to activating your third eye is a personal one and everyone's pace is different. So keep practicing, stay patient, and trust in the process. Your third eye journey is a beautiful, enriching path towards greater self-awareness and spiritual growth, and visualizations and affirmations are trusted companions on this path. Stay safe and keep exploring. Chapter 10. Using Crystals for Third Eye Activation. You might wonder how crystals can aid in activating your third eye, but these powerful tools have been used for centuries in spiritual practices. Their energy vibrations, unique to each type of crystal, can help tune your body's energy to a frequency that promotes third eye awakening. Amethyst, for instance, is known for its ability to heighten intuition, and spiritual awareness. To use it, place a small amethyst crystal on your forehead, just above the space between your eyes. This area, also known as the brow chakra, is where the third eye resides. As you meditate, Visualize the purple energy of the amethyst resonating with and activating your third eye. Lapis lazuli, is another crystal praised for its third eye activation properties. This deep, blue stone, adorned with gold specks, connects with your higher mind, expanding your psychic abilities. Hold it in your hand during meditation or wear it as a pendant close to your heart to benefit from its energy. But remember, Safety and comfort are paramount. Ensure the crystals you use are genuine, and ethically sourced. Cleanse them regularly to remove any absorbed, negative energy. In all this, trust your intuition. You'll feel drawn to the crystals that are right for you. And be patient, third eye activation is a journey, not a destination. Crystals are just aids in your spiritual journey, helping to guide and enhance your connection to your inner self. With time and practice, you'll feel your third eye becoming more open and responsive. Chapter 11. Essential Oils for Third Eye Awakening. In addition to crystals, essential oils can also serve as powerful tools in your journey towards third eye activation. These aromatic elixirs have been used for centuries to aid in spiritual growth and healing. They work by enhancing your vibrational frequencies, helping you tune into your inner wisdom. Let's start with lavender. It's not merely a pleasant scent for your living room. When used in meditation, lavender essential oil can help in calming your mind and raising your spiritual awareness. It's like a gentle guide, 
leading you towards the path of enlightenment. Frankincense, another essential oil, is known for its capacity to stimulate the pineal gland, the physical location of your third eye. Incorporating it into your routine, can help you connect more deeply with your spiritual self, fostering a sense of peace and clarity. Next is sandalwood. Revered in many spiritual traditions, this essential oil is said to enhance your intuitive abilities, making it an excellent companion for your third eye awakening journey. Remember, using essential oils for your third eye's activation is a personal journey, and it's important to trust your instincts. You'll know when you've found the right oil for you. Apply it before meditation or during quiet moments of reflection. Don't forget, safety is paramount. Before using essential oils topically on your skin, always dilute them with a carrier oil and think about completing a patch test to make sure you are not allergic. Awakening your third eye is a journey of self-discovery and these oils can be your allies, aiding in your spiritual growth in a safe and holistic way. Chapter 12. Sound Healing for Third Eye Activation. Building on the use of essential oils, another potent tool for third eye activation is sound healing. This is a gentle yet powerful practice that can help to clear any blockages, helping your third eye to open. Sound healing operates on the premise that everything in the universe is in a constant state of vibration, including you. This means that your cells, energy centers, including your third eye, respond to different sound frequencies. Imagine the sound as a soft wave, washing over you, penetrating into your very cells and awakening your third eye. It's a soothing, safe process, enveloping you in a cocoon of healing vibrations. You might use Tibetan singing bowls, tuning forks, or even a simple hum of your own voice. The key is to select sounds that resonate with you and make you feel calm and centered. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Many have found sound healing to be a transformative experience, aiding in the activation of their third eye. While it might sound a bit mystical, it's grounded in the age-old wisdom that speaks to the interconnectedness of all things, including the relationship between sound and our bodies. Opening your third eye isn't a race, it's a personal journey. Take your time, listen to your intuition, and let the healing sounds guide you towards deeper understanding and clarity. As you explore sound healing for third eye activation, you're taking a pivotal step towards aligning with your higher self. Next, we'll delve into chakra alignment for third eye opening, another essential aspect of this enlightening journey. Chapter 13. Chakra alignment for third eye opening. Following your exploration of sound healing, it's time to delve into chakra alignment, a crucial step towards opening your third eye. This process, while profound, is also delicate. It's about creating an internal balance, harmonizing the energy points in your body. Your chakras are like spinning wheels of energy, located along your spine, each one connected to specific aspects of your being. For your third eye to open, it's essential that these chakras are aligned, creating a clear channel for energy to flow. Picture your chakras as a string of pearls, each one unique, yet interconnected. If one pearl is out of place, the whole string is disrupted. Similarly, if one chakra is blocked, it can affect the balance of the rest. That's why chakra alignment is so important. Start from your root chakra at the base of your spine, visualize it as a radiant red light. Then move up to your sacral chakra, represented by a vibrant orange light. Continue this process, ascending through your solar plexus, heart, throat, and third eye chakras, each time visualizing the corresponding color, yellow, green, blue, indigo. By the time you reach your third eye chakra, you should feel a sense of calm, balance, and readiness. This space of inner tranquility is where your third eye opens. Chapter 14. Kundalini Awakening and the Third Eye. Once your chakras are aligned, the next step in activating your third eye involves awakening your kundalini energy. This energy, coiled at the base of your spine, 
is an immense power source. When awakened, it spirals up your spine, energizing each chakra along the way. However, it's important to approach this with caution and respect, as improperly handled kundalini energy can lead to discomfort. You might be wondering how to awaken this slumbering serpent of energy. Well, it's not as complicated as you might think, but it does require dedication and patience. Breathing exercises, yoga, and meditation are all useful techniques. Remember, it's a journey, not a race. The awakening of Kundalini, is a deeply spiritual and transformative experience that should be embraced with openness and love. It's also crucial to maintain a balanced lifestyle during this process. Proper nutrition, adequate rest, and avoiding toxins will support your body as it acclimates to the increased energy flow. And always listen to your body. If you're feeling overwhelmed, take a step back. Your kundalini will awaken in its own time. As your kundalini energy rises, it eventually reaches your third eye, stimulating it and unlocking your psychic abilities. This is the moment you've been preparing for, when your intuition, foresight, and wisdom truly come to the fore. And with your kundalini awakened and your third eye activated, you're now ready to explore the next step, energy work for third eye activation. Chapter 15 Energy Work for Third Eye Activation After you've awakened your kundalini and stimulated your third eye, it's time to delve into energy work to further activate your third eye. I understand that this may feel like an overwhelming task, but remember, it's a journey of self-discovery and personal growth. It's crucial to approach this process with patience and kindness towards yourself. Using the energy that exists both inside and around you, Energy work is a holistic approach to healing. It's all about balancing your energy fields to promote spiritual clarity and wellness. To begin, focus on your third eye location, which lies in the center of your forehead. Visualize a radiant, indigo light that represents the energy of your third eye. It's okay if you can't see it at first, visualizing is something you'll get better at with practice. To further stimulate this energy, you can use techniques like meditation, breath work, and energy healing practices such as Reiki. Regular meditation, for example, can help you tap into your inner energy and nourish your third eye. As you meditate, imagine this indigo energy expanding, increasing your intuition and spiritual awareness. Remember, it's essential to respect your pace and listen to your body. It's not a race, and you don't need to rush the process. Continue your energy work with dedication, patience, and love for yourself. You're nurturing your spiritual growth and that's something truly beautiful. As you strive to open your third eye, have faith in the process and the wisdom it will impart. Chapter 16. Breathing Exercises for Third Eye Awakening. Now, Let's delve into specific breathing exercises that can boost your third eye awakening process and enhance your energy work. This isn't just about enhancing your spiritual journey, but also about making sure you're safe and grounded throughout the process. Firstly, you'll want to find a quiet, comfortable space where you won't be disturbed. With your hands on your knees, your feet flat on the floor for stability, and your spine straight, assume an upright position. Once you're settled, close your eyes and begin to focus on your breath. Breathe in deeply through your nose, hold it for three counts, and then release the breath slowly through your mouth. This is called the 478 breathing technique. It's not just calming and grounding, but also helps to increase your focus and awareness, key elements in activating your third eye. Repeat this process for several minutes, visualizing a vibrant indigo light at your third eye area with each exhale. This light represents the energy of the third eye, and visualizing it can help to activate this energy center. Don't rush or force anything. Let your body and mind adapt to this new practice. It's a gentle, safe way to tap into your inner wisdom and intuition. Remember, your third eye awakening is a personal journey that takes time and patience. 
So, don't be discouraged if results aren't immediate. Instead, cherish each moment of the process and trust that you're on the right path. These exercises aren't just about activating your third eye, but also about nurturing your overall well-being. So breathe, visualize, and embrace the journey. Chapter 17. Connecting with Spirit Guides and Angels. Building on your breathing exercises and visualization techniques, you're ready to start connecting with your spirit guides and angels. It's natural to feel a bit apprehensive at first, but remember, this is a safe space. Your spirit guides and angels are benevolent energies, here to support and guide you. To connect with your spirit guides, imagine them in your mind's eye during your meditation. Don't worry if you can't see them clearly, it's your intention that matters most. Simply express your desire to connect with them, ask for their guidance, and then sit quietly, opening yourself to their presence and messages. Connecting with angels is a similar process. Envision a loving, expansive energy enveloping you. It's like the protective embrace of a parent or a dear friend. Feel the safety and warmth that's inherent in this energy. This is the essence of the angelic realm. As you connect more deeply with your spirit guides and angels, you'll begin to notice subtle signs in your daily life. You might see recurring numbers, find feathers in unusual places, or experience synchronicities that can't be explained by mere coincidence. These are all signs that your spirit guides and angels are communicating with you. This part of your third eye activation journey is indeed profound, but remember to approach it with patience and humility. It's not a race. Every connection you make, every sign you notice, is a step forward on your spiritual path. It's a beautiful journey that unfolds in its own time, and in its own way. Trust in the process, and in yourself. Chapter 18 lucid, dreaming and the third eye. Often, as you deepen your connection with your spirit guides and angels, you'll begin to notice an increased ability to experience lucid dreaming, which is a significant aspect of third eye activation. Lucid, dreaming is when you're aware you're dreaming while still immersed in the dream. It's a safe space for you to explore your innermost feelings and desires, and it's often a sign that your third eye is becoming more active. Lucid dreams can be a means of communication from your higher self or spirit guides, offering wisdom and guidance. If you've been asking for signs or answers, they may come through these vivid dreams. Pay attention to the symbols, the emotions, and the storylines. They're often not as random as they seem but rather a reflection of your subconscious, your fears or hopes, and your desires. It's important to remember that lucid dreaming isn't a skill you develop overnight. It requires patience, practice, and a sense of open-minded curiosity. As you become more adept at it, you'll find it's a powerful tool for self-discovery and spiritual growth. Utilize a dream journal to record your experiences. This helps in recognizing recurring themes and symbols that might be significant. It's also a gentle way to encourage your subconscious mind to continue the practice. Chapter 19. Astral Projection and the Third Eye. Diving into the realm of astral projection, you'll find it's another profound method for activating your third eye. It's not a journey to take lightly, but with careful preparation, it can be an enlightening experience. Astral projection is the process of your conscious mind leaving your physical body to explore different dimensions or realms. You'll be keen to know that your third eye, or the sixth chakra, plays a significant role in astral projection. It's often referred to as the gateway to inner realms and spaces of higher consciousness. You can more readily and securely enter these places by opening your third eye. Now, how to go about it? Meditation is key. As you sit quietly, breathe deeply, focusing all your attention on your third eye. Visualize it as a vibrant, pulsating energy center, opening it up to new possibilities. You're not alone in this. Many have trodden this path before, 
and their experiences can guide you. Remember, it's essential to approach astral projection with a sense of respect and humility. It's not about control, but about surrender and trust. Be open, be patient, and most importantly, be safe. Fear can hinder your experience, so approach it with a calm and open mind. It's also worth noting that astral projection can take time to master. Don't rush the process, and don't be too harsh on yourself. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be able to navigate the astral realms with ease, thanks to your activated third eye. Chapter 20. Maintaining a Balanced Third Eye. After mastering the art of astral projection and activating your third eye, it's crucial to focus on keeping this spiritual center balanced for continued growth and exploration. Just as with any part of you, your third eye requires care and attention to function optimally. Regular meditation is your chief tool in maintaining this balance. It's like a tune-up for your third eye, helping to clear blockages and ensure energies flow freely. Imagine a beam of indigo light from the universe, entering and cleansing your third eye during each meditation session. This visualization not only aligns your third eye but also provides a sense of safety and peace. Another essential step is a balanced diet, emphasizing fresh fruits, vegetables, and plenty of water. These not only nurture your physical body but also your spiritual self, including your third eye. Don't forget the importance of adequate sleep. Rest allows your third eye, like the rest of your body, to rejuvenate and heal. It's during these moments of quietude that your third eye can process spiritual experiences. Last but not least, pay attention to your environment. Surround yourself with positive energy, be it people or places. Negative energies can cause imbalance, so it's vital to cultivate positivity in all aspects of your life. Remember, maintaining a balanced third eye isn't a one-time task, but a continuous process. It's about nurturing your spiritual growth and ensuring safety in your astral journeys. As we transition into the next section, we'll delve deeper into the integration and continued growth of your third eye's capabilities. Chapter 21 integration and continued growth. Now that you've mastered the balance of your third eye, it's essential to focus on the integration of this spiritual center into your daily life for sustained growth. This isn't about flipping a switch. It's a journey of self-discovery and transformation that requires patience, persistence, and commitment. Start by being mindful of the energy flowing through your third eye. Be aware of its presence as you go about your daily routine. This will help you stay connected to your inner wisdom and intuition. Make it a habit to pause, breathe, and attune yourself to this energy throughout the day. Next, incorporate meditation into your lifestyle. It's a powerful tool for not only maintaining the balance of your third eye but also for nurturing its growth. Whether it is in the morning to set your aims for the day or in the evening to relax and contemplate, establish a pattern that enables you to routinely connect with your third eye. Remember to be patient with yourself. Integration is a gradual process. It's okay if you don't see immediate changes. What's important is that you're taking steps towards growth. Your third eye didn't open overnight, so don't expect it to integrate instantly either. Lastly, keep learning. The more you understand about the third eye, the better equipped you'll be to navigate this journey. There are plenty of resources available to you. Books, workshops, and spiritual mentors can provide valuable insights and guidance. And so, your journey towards awakening your third eye begins? Consider it your personal lighthouse, guiding you through the fog of the physical realm into your inner realms of higher consciousness. Remember, unlocking your third eye isn't a sprint, but a marathon. It's a lifelong journey of self-discovery, growth, and expanded perception. Keep nurturing it with love, patience, and balance, and watch as your life transforms into an existence of deeper understanding and spiritual enlightenment. 
Thanks for listening to or reading this form audiobooks office.